Hi, this is Dr. Frida, and today we're talking about the social media and how it interferes with our election. We are no longer looking for power and status. We are looking for likability, for people who we can relate to, for people who are saying things that actually make sense in the long run. Psychologically, if we don't trust someone, we distance ourselves from that, pe from that person. And if we trust someone, then we go ahead and join them and learn much more. We have seen mass murders. We have seen people who have given hate speeches. And that all comes from distrust. You know, when we have polls, when we can go ahead and look at Facebook, when we can look at Twitter, we can look at YouTube, we have all these resources of information that is giving us what we want to hear. When we hear the media on television, it's always biased because if you listen to CNN and then if you listen to Fox News, you will hear two different stories on the same topic. So when we have Russia who interfered and meddled uh, in our politics, um, the, in the year 2016 for with our then presidential candidate Donald Trump, are we going to have that today? We have to be more sophisticated, we have to be more technologically savvy, and we have to know what to look for, and we have done that, so we are more prepared to have a political situation that makes sense in the year 2020. Thank you.